Welcome back everybody. The round that we're going to be testing out today is the 460 Roland 230 grain bonded jacketed hollow point from Underwood Ammo. Of course it is loaded with the very highly respected Spear Gold Dot bonded bullet. Uh, this one here I have tested before here on the channel. And for those of you guys that are unfamiliar with the 460 Rowland conversion, um, please check out my video I did on the Glock 21 conversion video. We're going to be using that firearm that you see right here, which is just your Glock 21 with the uh, updated recoil spring as well as the 460 Rowland uh, conversion barrel. The barrel there is just over 5 inches. So up next we're going to see how these rounds do through the chronograph and then in the gel. You see the wound track right about the one to two inch mark it just has a massive massive wound cavity and if you look down the bullet actually seems to break apart right around the five or six inch mark you got a couple fragments of that bonded bullet that seemed to have failed there's a couple fragments right around here those are actually from the recycled gel guys don't don't pay attention to those but right there the leading edge is hard to see probably but i'll pull it out here the leading edge of the bullet is right at 13 inches in that little mass right here that mass that you're seeing that is the leading edge of the bullet and again, that's the wound track right there. You can see just massive, massive, massive temporary, or I should say permanent cavities. The high point of expansion for the recovered bullet was just over 0.7 inches, and the average was right at 0.7 inches. The main piece of the recovered bullet weighs in at 7.5 grams, which equates to 116 grains. Adding in the fragments I was able to pull out were up to 12 grams, and that equates to right around 186 grains. Those of you that have been watching the channel now for a while know that I've tested a bunch of underwood loads over the years to include some 10 millimeter rounds that are going pretty darn fast. Now, this is the first time I've seen one of Spears bonded bullets fail like this, and there's probably a couple of reasons. Uh, previously, when I've tested some of their 10 millimeter ammo, one thing to con consider is that uh, Spear builds that bullet for 40 caliber velocities, and the dis difference between a 40 caliber velocity and a 10 millimeter velocity certainly is great, but not as great as what you're going to see here between the 230. Uh, 45 grain round and what you actually saw here with the 460 round. So while the bullet uh, did break apart here, obviously we still had a large piece going in 13 inches. That's likely due to the reason that the bullet itself is designed to go around the 850 feet per second as opposed to the uh, 1313 I believe is what the average was here today. So that's likely why you saw bullet failure. But still, there's no doubt about it, that bullet would be devastating onto any sort of uh, animal or two-legged uh, creature, perhaps a threat to you, that you fired this bullet at. If you guys have any questions about this round or anything else that I talk about here on the test, you can always post below in the comment section. You can also post over at my Facebook page, but as always guys, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and I hope to see you in the next video.